I personally like to have the strongest material, the lightest weight material that I can possibly get my hands on. Now, people don't understand it, but the aluminum that we use has the same tensile strength as 304 stainless. It's 70,000 PSI, okay, which is a lot of pressure. The difference is, is the aluminum can't take the temperature that 304 stainless can. Um, 304 stainless can get up around 1,800 degrees before you start having problems. Aluminum's right around 900,000. Uh, so, you know, use the material where you need it. Don't take the extra weight just because people say you have to have a stainless or, or any other gaga material up to make sure it holds up. I mean, 1.1 million rounds, come on. You know, <laughs> what are you going to improve that with, with stainless or Inconel? What are you going to do? It, it, it's, it's ridiculous. But... Uh, yeah, people out there, they try, they're they trying to dazzle you with exotic materials and exotic names and stuff. Uh, you you don't need to go to that that extreme. Um, the titanium they have out there is, is very efficient if you know how to manufacture it. Um, it holds up well. It holds up to a lot of pressure. Uh, it takes the temperature well. And it's lightweight. Uh, I have customers that, well, I have one dealer that wanted me to come up with a cost-efficient, small, uh, sound-efficient uh, suppressor for a 300 blackout. So we came up with a GT300K, which is a stainless unit to keep the cost out of everything else. But because he was a good customer of mine, I made him a special titanium one. Mistake number one. So make state number two is he showed it to people. So basically the cost efficient one that they saw and they they were looking at, once they saw his and saw the lightweight, they don't care if it costs extra. They want the titanium version. They just blew the whole program. But you know, that's what we, we came up with. Once they once they see how titanium, how much lighter it is and stuff, they, they lead more towards that. I think we're probably one of the largest manufacturers of titanium suppressors in the business. Almost all our center fire cans are uh, titanium. Our 338 Lapua can, it's bimetal. Half titanium, half aluminum. Yep, it'll hold up to anything. I've never had one come apart.